Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Ani here from the learning class. It's been a while that I've posted a video. Uh, today's video is on how to connect your Namecheap domain to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. So what you see in front of you is the Shopify backend. So we're going to click on settings. Once you click on settings, click on domains. So in domains, you are going to see a default myshopify.com and it's going to have some weird number. Uh, this one I have put it. So just ignore that. So in your Shopify store, you will see something like this. So just click that. It's going to have like these numbers. So just copy that. So we're going to click on copy. And now we're going to go to our name chip. So the look for your domain name. So my domain is Siegel Markets. So I'm going to configure Siegel Markets. OK, so once you see your domain, just click on manage. Once you click manage, just click on advanced DNS. Scroll down and you will see this default uh, information, which is already there. So the CNAME record, we just going to leave this. And over here, we're going to click delete this and copy paste the myshopify.com domain. OK, so go there and then here just click on automatic and click save, save, save changes. OK, that's done. Then automatically the below record will show something like this. So click on add new record. Click on a record in the host section. Just click on at. And then the IP address is this one. So this is common for all the Shopify stores. So you can just copy paste this number. You can pause the video and then just copy paste it. I will also leave this value or this number in the description so you can get it from there. And then this one automatic. And then this one is just quick. OK, so this is basically the setting that is required in your name chip. So now we are sorted. Now copy your domain. Go back to your Shopify store. Click on domains again and then here connect existing domain. OK. Now, usually you will have to wait about two to three minutes, five minutes for the domain you know it's called propagation for the propagation to happen sometimes it happens in one minute sometimes five minutes whatever so once you copy this just click on next and here you click on verify connection as i said it takes some time so just be patient so maybe we'll come back in about five minutes okay, so here we are it actually just took a few seconds only it only took about 30 seconds so now you see the domain has been connected as you can see this shows ssl pending ssl pending uh ssl is included shopify gives it for free so uh, this ssl will take approximately about five minutes again uh what you can do in the meantime is you can check so go back to your store and then here you see this little i click that and as you can see the seagull markets has already been configured however the ssl is still in progress so it takes about five minutes so, so it has been actually only about two minutes and now as you can see the domain is configured it's got the ssl certificate which is https so that's it that's the most easy and the simple way of connecting your domain to your shopify so i hope you enjoyed the video do consider subscribing liking thank you very much and see you in the next video